Welcome to my channel. I'm Fang Fang. 大家好，我是芳芳，欢迎回到我的频道。大家好，我是马桑多。<笑>今天我们要来聊一聊，在跨国家庭当中，我们互相嫌弃的那些怪习，就是奇葩的习惯，然有的时候会引起一些家庭的矛盾。In this video, we will be discussing a few habits that we find weird with each other, and、uh, that sometimes creates、uh, conflicts within our family. Okay, let's start now. The first thing is about the drinking water. He always just drinks the cold water, no matter how cold the outside is. And she just drink warm water all the time. But、uh, I just feel like when you have a coughing and、uh, you、uh, have sore throat, drinking warm water will make you feel better.、Mm. We we do drink、uh, warm things as well. It's just that water we want to drink cold. If we want something warm, like for example, when we have a cold, we will usually drink tea instead. But most of the time, you drink water, right? That's why he when he cough, he usually cough for one month. Yes, I'm, if I'm coughing, but if I have a sore throat, then I will drink warm tea, and I usually avoid the cold water. So I feel it's kind of a common habit in Western countries. I also ask some Western girls, and they just said,、um, even if when they have a period, they only drink a、uh, cold, even icy water. So I just ask them,、uh, how about if you feel bad or maybe feel painful, what will you do? And they said they only take like a painkiller and maybe sometimes use some warm thing to put on your tummy to make you feel better. So I feel it's really really strange logic. So I just feel, oh, you just drink some warm water will make you feel much much better.、Mm, and、uh, I'm I usually drink a glass of cold water when I get up in the morning, and、uh, he usually get upset with me, say I should drink a warm water before I drink any cold water. Yeah, it's very bad for your stomach <laughs> because when you get up, you have a warm body, and you just drink some. Cold water is like you pulling some icy water on some、um, fire, so it's not very good for your body. Of course, it's like a,、um, a little bit related to the Chinese medicine, but、uh, I just feel they they cannot understand our Chinese like medicine and some logic. So I don't blame you. However, he is already affected by me now. When he gets cold, he only drink warm water. Yeah, I usually drink quite a lot of warm water now. I'm.、Um, I don't say I like it, but at least it's not too strange for me. Like before, before I feel it's very strange to drink warm water. How how it feels like when you drink warm water? Like water, but not as tasty. Not as tasty. <laughs> Because when you drink cold water, it can be very satisfying, especially if you're warm. Yeah. Maybe I've done some workouts or something, or you're very thirsty from coming inside. It's hot outside. And then you do some exercise, but it's very bad for your body. So I win. <laughs> The second one is take a shower in the morning or in the evening. I think it's very obvious you should take a shower in the evening because after working, after going to school and taking the public transportations, you already get very dirty and you get some dirt on your face, maybe some bacteria, virus, whatever, and you become very、um, sweaty as well. So I feel you should clean yourself before you go to sleep, and especially you need to、um, clean your feet. For me, when I wake up in the morning, I usually feel kind of maybe a bit sweaty, dirty feeling, and、uh, I want to clean myself before preparing for the coming day and before going to work. I want to feel clean, so usually I want to shower in the morning. Before sleeping, I will at least I will wash my face, but a shower I will do in the morning. But never clean your feet. In the evening, no. So horrible. Before、yeah. I didn't know that. Before before we getting married, I never noticed he never clean、uh, his feet before sleeping. So suddenly one day I find out that her, his secret, and then I just went, oh, it's just so gross. And I just ask him, that, that's very strange. Why don't you clean them after walking、uh, and wearing shoes for whole days? You get very sweaty feet. It's so dirty. I think in Western countries we don't really have that kind of habit of cleaning the feet feet before sleeping. I could be wrong, but from what I have seen in like、uh, China, usually you will just put your feet in water and not use any soap, so you don't really clean your feet either. But just, they rubber it. <laughs> you you just make it wet. <laughs> what? But it's better than you. You never clean your feet before sleep. So、um, after I find that、um, problem, I ask、uh, him must to clean his feet. Otherwise, he cannot go to my bed. And also another thing to consider is we usually wear shoes much less. We don't wear shoes inside usually. Okay, 
Oh, yeah, in Western countries, the Yulu just wear socks inside. In the uh, Europe, like, anyway, I think okay. in America it's common to wear shoes inside. Okay, yeah. But it also can get very dirty. Uh, the bacteria and the virus can go through your socks. But now we find some balance, like uh, he take a shower in the morning and clean himself in the evening a little bit. So uh, it's kind of working pretty well right now. But the third weird thing is about uh, our sleeping habits. Uh, she will usually stay up late and then sleep late in the morning. While I, on the other hand, will uh, I like to go to bed a bit early and uh, I usually wake up very early every day. Even if it's uh, during the weekend, I will usually wake up early. I no. think, yeah, I think uh, in China, usually young people like us always do like that. Wake up later in the morning and they'll stay up and do something in the evening. Your schedule is more like some old people in China, you know. He sleeps like uh, half past nine in the evening and then wake up sometimes half past five. The latest uh, is like six o'clock. I think here the habits are quite uh, different for different people. Uh, for example, I have colleagues who maybe start working at uh, seven o'clock in the morning and then I also have colleagues that arrive uh, after nine o'clock or almost ten o'clock. Okay, because your working time is quite flexible, but I also think probably because uh, the um, uh, daytime in Sweden is quite different from China because during winter uh, the sun goes down very early in the day and uh, uh, it's kind of uh, people need to start the day much earlier than uh, summer, right? I feel it's like that and in China we have very long daytime so I don't know if that matter. I mean, Sweden is different in different time of year. You have the winter, it's dark in the morning and dark in the evening, and in the summer it's just bright all the time. I don't know if that really affects our habits too much. And also because Sweden is so boring, you don't have too many things to do during night. In China, we have a lot of things you can do. For example, the stores in China, they usually uh, like not close until 10 o'clock, and they also can go to some like middle night snack, and uh, have fun with friends, sing karaoke, and whatever. I have a lot of things to do, but uh, here is everything closed down at um, eight o'clock. Um, when I grew up, they, they used to close at six, but now it's uh, at least in mo usually malls are open quite late nowadays. Still not too many things to do. Okay, then because I'm living in Sweden, so I'm affected by him. Now I have to sleep early in the night and get up a little bit early in the morning. But sometimes probably I also sleep long in the morning. So now, this time, he wins. I win! <laughs> the weird thing is uh, Chinese beds. They're very hard. Uh, some of them are like lying on the floor, basically. <laughs> but I feel Swedish beds are super soft. Uh, when we just come to Sweden and uh, we try to buy a bed, but uh, then we find out, I, I find out all of the Swedish beds are super soft. And when I lie, it, lie on it, I just feel, oh, my back start to feel hurt and my waist, I cannot suffer from it. Because in China, people always say a uh, hot bed is good for your body and for your bones or whatever. And um, I used to sleep on the hard bed. When we well, bought the bed for her, they actually told her that bed is for overweight people. <laughs> Uh, but the theory with the beds in Western countries, I think it comes from research, uh, is you want to keep your spine straight when you're sleeping. So if, if, if you lie on a hard bed, your spine will go up and bend. You want to have it not too soft and not too hard so your spine can be straight when you're lying down. But I feel your bed is super soft. But uh, However, probably I feel because the Western people, they have a little bit of curvy body and the Chinese people's body shape is a little bit different. I don't know if that is a reason. Uh, and also because uh, uh, they drink a lot of milk and eat a lot of like milk products, so they, uh, they are not lack of a costume. So they, I don't know, so their bones is a little bit flexible or whatever. Uh, because for me, sometimes um, if I, in that time, I don't drink enough milk and I didn't get some like a costume supplement, I often feel my back are hurting after I sleep too long. But uh, uh, if that, uh, those periods I follow with him and uh, eat some like Western food and a lot of cheese, then I, will, I won't have that problem. Now I sleep on the Swedish soft bed, but uh, I don't feel it's a big problem. And now I want to go back to China because the Chinese bed is super hot. <laughs> 
The last thing is about when you get uh, sick, uh, what you usually do. Uh, I think we have very different habits in the beginning uh, because I come from China. It's very common in China when you get sick or maybe just uh, some light cold, you still eat some medicine. Uh, and uh, if you have fever or maybe have a little bit of heavy cold, they have flu, you usually go to a hospital and they probably will get some infusion. Um, anyway, when you get sick, you always want to do something to make you feel better. Mm -hmm. Well, here, and especially for me, I usually do just wait until I get better. I don't really need any medicine. Uh, usually the only medicine I have at home is painkillers for my head, if I have a uh, headache, or if I have fever, which I don't have very often, but then I might take a painkiller to lower the fever. And uh, the second medicine is uh, for my allergy. Then I don't need any more. If, if I get a, like a bacterial infection, which happens sometimes, not very often, uh, then I will go see a doctor, which will pres prescribe me antibiotics. And uh, then I can get antibiotics, but I couldn't go buy it by myself, and I will never have it at home. And uh, when, we, when we visit China, I feel there's always so much medicine. And when you see the doctor, they will always prescribe you some kind of medicine, even if you don't have any big problem. It's, I feel it's impossible to see a doctor with also getting some medicine. But it's helpful, and uh, usually we just use some um, herb medicine, and like a Chinese medicine, it's kind of, I think, a different system uh, with um, Western medicines. Some uh, like uh, herb things can help you feel better, uh, but uh, I don't know. Uh, it's also about the Chinese medicine. I don't really have some professional knowledge about that, but I still kind of feel Chinese medicine is helpful. But uh, now I'm also changed a little bit uh, here, even if I bring a lot of uh, medicines from China, and, uh, but I, I try to don't eat them when I get some light cold. I just drink some vitamin and uh, try to let my own immunity system recover by itself, uh, which I think is very good. So I also didn't eat medicine uh, for quite a long time. And the interesting thing is like when our daughter gets uh, uh, sick uh, the year before last year when she was like uh, one year old and uh, then uh, she has problem and she has a fever for 10 days and she eats some like a uh, painkiller uh, didn't remove his fever uh, didn't remove her fever, so we take her to the hospital. The doctor suggests us to give her some like what's that? Ice cream. That's crazy, right? Ice cream will is cold, so it will help your body to lower your temperature. Because fever is caused by higher temperatures, and when you eat ice cream, you will lower the temperature of your body. So they usually recommend to eat that when and you have a fever. And they feel like it can also give some uh, uh, supplement of the liquid for her body. Yeah. But I just feel like uh, ice cream is totally against uh, the Chinese medicine uh, mm -hmm. concept. So I don't know. Uh, maybe I think for this kind of thing, there are both good side and the bad side between uh, Western medicine and Chinese medicine. I don't know. So, for this... I think you win because usually I still have to eat a lot of Chinese medicine. <laughs> for example, some burned orange. <laughs> it is very good for coughing, right? Sure. sure. <laughs> so, those are some uh, um, strange habits we find about each other, but uh, we also try to uh, make some balance and uh, kind of uh, understand each other and try to adapt to each other. Uh, that's why we can survive. <laughs> uh, try to, um, how do you say, solve the conflict and make lower the conflict at least. We usually have to find some kind of common ground where both of us are happy with the situation. Yeah, so I think probably in your family or maybe in your relationships, you also have uh, very different habits. So you're welcome to discuss with us and uh, welcome to. Uh, subscribe my channel and uh, leave the comments uh, and uh, thanks for your watching we see you next time see you bye bye